Hello everyone. Before doing the components video, I wanted to show something else. Um, and so I'm doing another video, uh, not the one I promised before. Um, yeah, the software still is not finished. Uh, it's still in beta stage. Normally nothing should be changed anymore on the user interface side here. No functionality should be added or removed. But there were some minor things which annoyed me heavily. So I did some smaller changes and I wanted to document them here. And hence this video. Yeah, let's get started here. First, there used to be a tiny decorations menu item. This one is gone now. All the functionality which was in there, which frankly wasn't too much, which was not already present in the other menus, now has been moved over. And you really um, can reach all the functionality of this plugin via the various context menus on the various items. So if you open the context menu on something, you will get the functionality if there is a functionality. And I really hope that we don't have to add another menu item here in the future. For the time being, it should stay like that. The other thing is that I, yeah, I showed you the navigation system in the last video, but there was one thing which annoyed me really big time. That was that I could not create the navigation with the contextual information from an existing view. So what I did yesterday was to add this functionality, let's quickly create a view here. Yep, another view. Then let's quickly add some content here. Now the other view is generated. And then we can create the root. Now the contextual information is added. We're going to create the href and the correct component is selected as well. So what we're going to do now is to create the root. Now let's have a look at our root. It's already added. We now jump to the root declaration. It's there. We now copy the root link. Go to view one, paste the root link as is, save, and then let's go to our view one, and here's our third view. Yeah, that's it for this video. This is just a short interlude, and in the next video I'm going to present on how to create components, how to use components. Uh, yeah, see you then. Goodbye.